Thanks, Laura. Um, so like she said, you know, we, we, we do have a sign-up event usually in, every fall. Um, and we do get some signups there. We have iPads and things like that where we could do online registration there. But there are usually a significant number of families who, who you know, aren't ready to sign up that night. Um, and we've been really successful um, in, in um, closing those and getting them to sign up after the fact. And a few of the things that, um, that we do uh, is we always, we always have uh, an event, usually within a week or two right after the, uh, the sign up night. Uh, and that's you, our, our, big, our big event is, uh, it's an outdoor movie night that we do every, every September after our sign up night. And it's outdoors, we have a barbecue, uh, we set up a big inflatable movie screen um, at the lawn and, and, and we show a movie. And it's, it's a way to get the kids engaged, but it also gets the families to come back. Um, and then we also, you know, it's, we do, we do, we invite them to hikes. Uh, we have a camp out uh, that's right after there. But what we do is, is, is we're inviting them to the activities that they've shown interest in um, and getting them to come back. And, and usually after one or two, act, attending one or two activities um, where it's, it's, again, if, if a lot of people don't want to be pushed as that's what we found is, is if you come at them too with the, the used car salesman, like, hey, you got to sign up tonight. You got to, it kind of, it, it turns them off, pushes them away. So we take a softer approach where we invite them and then we invite them back. And sometimes it takes two or three different activities. They come to a den meeting, they come to an activity, they go on a hike. And then by, you know, the second or third event, they're like, hey, we're, we love it. We're ready to sign up. So that's one of the ways that we've done it is, is we collect that list at the sign up night. We put them on our e-blast. So they're, so they're getting all the emails that the rest of our families get. So they're, we're keeping them in communication. Um, you know, we put them in basically in a separate den that we call prospects. And so whether it's an online lead from myscouting.org or if it's a friend, that's someone that says, hey, my friend's interested, we're putting them on this e-blast. And, and every week, every Sunday, an email goes out, it lists all of the activities, you know, what, what the den level activities are, what activity, you know, what, all, all of the activities that we do. And so we're really reaching out and br helping bring them in. And then when they're ready, then, you know, we close them. And sometimes that takes two, three, four, five events. Um, but uh, just, sometimes just the sign up alone isn't enough. So you really have to be diligent, uh, collect those sign up lists, be in communication with them, pass their information on to the den leaders, get the den leaders engaged too, make them feel welcome, um, make sure the kids in the den, um, you know, are, are, are being engaging to them, reaching out to them. Um, if they can, if they have a friend, you know, it's the, in our, in our, our findings is, is scouting is easier to do with a friend. If, if you have a scout that comes in and they don't know anybody, it's really difficult. Um, you know, it's, that's a hard lead to close, but if they know somebody or if they can bring a friend with them, um, you know, that's, it's a, it's a much easier ask. Um, you know, like the, the, the slide here says 19% of families that, that leave, you know, are there, they, they do so because they're never contacted. So, you know, making that contact after that first night is important. Um, following up on those myscouting.org leads that you get, uh, checking it regularly. I mean, they do a really good job of, of notifying you by email, whoever your key three is that gets those leads. So making those contacts. Um, we've gotten a tremendous amount of scouts off of our myscouting.org leads just because they've been to two or three other units and no one contacted them. They get dumped in our unit. Within two days, I'm making contact with them and inviting them to our next activity. So, you know, be, be in touch with them. Don't, don't be, don't shy away. Um, and then like Blake said, you know, the, the follow up, you know, really be, you know, you gotta be diligent about following up, making the contact, inviting them to them meetings and activities and just staying on top of it. It's, it's a bit of work, um, but I think parents, you know, if they're contacted right away uh, after they submit an inquiry or, or, you know, within a couple of days after that meeting, with, with what you have going on next, they're gonna be more likely to come back and. You know, and uh, and express interest and sign up.